When it comes to micing your drums with your overhead microphones, there's a few different patterns you can do. I prefer the space pair, which is basically just one over each side of the drum set, one on the right, one on the left. Its general purpose is to capture the overall image of, this, of the drum set. So basically you could think of it as somebody looking over the drums and that's how basically the microphone is gonna pick up what it hears. So how do we figure out exactly where we're gonna place these bad boys? Right here I've got an old mic cable. You can use a mic cable, you can use string, or you can use a tape measure. That is very accurate. So what you wanna do is you take one end of the mic cable and you put it right in the center of your snare drum. And then what you do is you take the other end so basically it'll go from the center of the snare drum and extend the length of the cable to the first microphone over here. All right, so that's gonna determine the length here where this first microphone is gonna be. And what you do is you go to the other side of the drum kit and you bring that mic cable over so you're able to touch the mic capsule on this side. You're probably gonna to wanna to get somebody to help you because it's a little tough to move it around on your own while you're measuring it from the center of a drum. So if you have a wife or a kid or something, then ask them to give you a hand because it'll make it way easier. Before you measure it with the string, the cable, or the tape measure, you're gonna to wanna to know where to position the first microphone so you can make your measurement off of it. Now, that's interesting me because there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but I found the best way, especially for recording metal drums, is to have the first microphone at the edge of your crash cymbal. Now, you're, if, if you don't have any other spot mics like I do in this setup, Ideally, you want this microphone to, let's say, capture these three symbols, this crash, this ride, and this china, because that's what you want to hear in the mix. You want it to be nice and balanced. In my case here, I've got a spot mic on the ride in the china, so I really want to focus on this crash symbol, and I've got it pointing straight down at the edge of the symbol. I don't want to point it in at the bell or at the bow of the symbol because that's not going to give me the sound I'm looking for. So, point it straight down, facing the edge of this symbol, and then that'll give you a good starting point to place that first overhead microphone. You can see that this microphone here is a little bit out frame, but it is pointing straight down directly at the edge of this cymbal too. I find that gives me a nice balance and stereo image inside of my mix so I can hear the crash on the right speaker and this crash on the left speaker. That's ideally what we're going for. The height of each microphone is also important because you'll notice as, as you bring this down towards the cymbal, it's gonna get a really strong hot signal and it's probably gonna clip your input. You don't want that, you don't want to track really loud because obviously these have a really, really high threshold of SPL, just sound pressure basically. So find that sweet spot as far as height's concerned, listen back, track a few things, listen back, see what you like for sound, and that's basically a great standing off point where you'd like to put your overheads. Something I'd like to add too is that you hear people talking about phase, or if you haven't heard about phase, it's when two signals are out of time with each other. So basically, when you take the distance from the snare and put it to each microphone, that's to ensure that the sound from the snare is gonna reach both microphones at the same time, right? Because as it travels over distance, it might take longer to get to one microphone. So if you look at your waveforms inside your DAW, you'll notice they don't quite line up. And that's not good because we wanna capture the drum set as one solid picture. We don't want a bunch of information crossing over and phasing out and making our overhead sound weak. One way to ensure that your phase is properly in line is that if you go into your DAW, you can check, you can zoom in on the waveforms and see that they're both cycling at the same speed and rate. Another easy way to check that too is either you can do it on your preamp if you've got that option, I don't, or you can go in your DAW and hit the little phase button on the channel that you're recording these two microphones with. And by flipping the phase, you'll be able to notice an audible difference when it is in or out of phase. If it's out of phase, it's gonna sound thin in comparison. And if it's in phase, you're gonna hear a little bit more low end in the track. So that's what you really need to be listening for. Let's move on to the snare. 